Hello, I'm Dr. Darnita L. Payton, and my purpose is to educate, encourage, and enlighten. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I am so grateful that you are here. Today, I am uh, rounding out the three-part series on how to express your sympathy when someone has lost a loved one or ways to express your condolences to someone who's lost a loved one and or someone who is grieving. And today, I just want to talk about three ways that you can comfort someone who is dealing with a loss or who's going through a grieving period. We talked about in the other videos, uh, tangible ways that you can express your sympathy. You can call them, text them, visit with permission or offer a tangible gift or offer of your services. And then we talked about some ways that you could express your um, sympathy to someone by saying, well, I don't know what to say. Or you can say that you are in my thoughts and my prayers, or that you can just let them know that you are there for them in their time of need. People generally love to talk about someone that they loved, even if it's difficult or they are still in the active grieving period. They like to remember special moments or memories. And so you can help with that. You can say to them, I remember that your mother was so giving or so generous or so sweet. And you can remind them of how she poured into your life or how uh, your father was such a strong man and how he was always so kind. Or if it's a sibling, I can remember the times that as we were growing up, we played together uh, at each other's homes or whatever the memory is, you can share that. And people generally appreciate hearing nice things about someone they've lost. Now, as I was doing grief work, uh, humor was often one of my saving graces. And it is okay to use humor, even when someone is grieving. Laughter is a gift from God. It, uh, the Bible even says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, and but broken spirits dry the bones. Laughter is definitely appropriate um, when someone is grieving. So, but he, what I always encourage is don't lie. If the person was hateful and awful and terrible, don't try and make them better than they were. Now, I'm not saying that you would go say, you know, your mother or father was a hateful, awful, terrible person. That's not what I mean. But if you don't have anything kind to say, you can just say, I remember your mother or I remember your father or maybe ask the person, what is one memory that you had about them? And they may say she was hateful or he was just mean. And then you all can share a laugh over that. So again, humor is okay to recall uh, if something is, if the person wasn't the nicest person on earth, it, you can't make somebody nice in death who wasn't nice on earth. So don't stress yourself about it, but just share a laugh or, or two to encourage and to lighten the mood. And so again, humor is okay. I want you to know that. So you're going to recall something nice about the person. If you can, you're not going to lie about it and it's okay to use humor. Be that person who is there when everyone else is gone. Human nature is for us to stay in a place of hurt or loss for maybe a week, 10 days, maybe two weeks, and then we return to normal life. And that's not because we're bad people. It's just because we were not created to stay in chaos and turmoil. And so when the funeral or the home going is over and the person has to come back to real life or maybe to a home that they have to I take care of now or if it was a spouse and they're coming back to a home that they shared you can be that person that is there for your friend or your loved one when everyone else is gone um, you can be the one who remembers the death anniversary and calls them or sends them a text or a card uh, six months a year later five years later whatever it is you can be the person who comes to visit when everyone else who was out of town has gone or everyone else has gone home you can be that person who offers to just sit with them in the quiet and it is absolutely okay to sit in the quiet you don't have to say anything sometimes people just really want you to be present with them and you can be that person so hopefully these three tips have helped you to help someone who's dealing with a loss. You can recall a pleasant memory about the person and share that with them, but don't lie. 
if they weren't a nice person and you, you don't have anything nice to say, then you don't have anything nice to say. It's okay to use humor because laughter really does lighten the mood. And I'm sure the person who is dealing with the loss would appreciate having a moment of brevity. Of course, we never want to be inappropriate, but a good laugh is a true gift. And then of course, you can be there for the person when everyone else has gone home and had to return to their normal and return to their lives. You can be that person who is there with them through the long haul. You can be your own comfort ministry. So I hope again that this series has been a blessing to you and it has been helpful to you. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know if you have something that you do that could help other people as they are helping someone who's going through a loss or can encourage someone who's actually going through the loss themselves. So I want you to know that it's okay uh, to go through the grieving process and please, please don't go through it alone. If you need help, there's help out there for you. Reach out to your pastor or a caring friend or a professional in the form of a therapist or your doctor or a trusted friend. And I hope that this, again, will be a blessing to you and will help you through this difficult time. So my prayers and thoughts are with you. And I just hope that your heart will be mended and that you will start to uh, get through the process and start to feel what the new normal for you will be. Um, I want anyone watching this to know that you are an amazing human being and that uh, you don't have to go through this alone. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this series. Again, I would love to hear your comments. Please, please share and take care. God bless. Bye.